Hey everybody, welcome back to Caroline's Closet. This is just going to be a quick road chat if my phone cooperates. I live in Illinois and if you've heard anything about Illinois, you know that the roads are full of potholes and it is very true. So that is one of the reasons I cannot use my phone mount in here very easily for filming. Anyway, I just wanted to give an update on getting ungated on Maybelline products using my Viadrating right before I left today and was uh, thinking of filming this, somebody asked if it worked or not, so I was already planning on telling you, and so here's the answer, yes and no. Um, so I'll walk you through it. I had to, in order to get ungated on something, you have to submit your request for approval, and you have to do it for a specific item, so you can't just pick a generalized category. So you basically go in as if you're going to list that item and then it tells you that there's limitations and you're not allowed to list it and tells you to go fill out the application. You have to do it on the website, not on the app. Uh, so I went in to do the application and it gave me two. It told me I had to get approved for Maybelline and then I also had to submit an application for approval to sell topicals in the health and beauty category. So, um, I did the Maybelline one. The Maybelline one only required the invoice. And then the Topicals one asked for an invoice. And then you had to submit pictures of the product uh, showing all sides of the packaging, showing the ingredients uh, listed on the packaging, and showing the contact information and the logo of the company that made it. Um, and then at the bottom of the thing for Topicals, it also said you needed to show a screen print or a proof of the FDA certification and or uh, there were a couple different certifications that you could find and put there. I could not find any of them and after researching that a little bit I found a lot of people in the Amazon forums talking about it and saying well cosmetics doesn't require that type of FDA certification so those documents just don't exist and Amazon just keeps asking for them. Anyway, but, so I left that field blank and it still let me submit my application. Right away, within like a couple hours, I got denied for both the Maybelline and the Topicals. Um, and it indicated for both of them that I needed an invoice with itemized product. So it said that we only, we do not accept uh, invoices from a liquidator unless it is itemized and shows that there's at least 10 of each individual item purchased. So I went back to Via Trading and my sales rep sent me an Excel copy of the invoice. And then I went in from the partial manifest and the product that I had in front of me and then added, itemized it because their invoice just said that I ordered one case of 250 items. It didn't indicate like what was in that case. It did say Maybelline though. So I itemized it, tried to resubmit it. You can't submit Excel documents. So I did convert it back to a PDF file. Resubmitted that, uh, got denied again. Uh, and it didn't say why, it just said that the same thing that the first one said, that I needed an itemized uh, copy. And I got denied on the topicals also sending that. And that one said that I needed, it indicated that I needed better pictures um, that showed the ingredients and it listed what all the pictures needed to show again. So I went back. Um, Via Trading also sent me a letter of just a generalized authenticity, not um, basically just said that we guarantee that we source from reputable sources and that the products are authentic. Um, just a real short, sweet, basic, to the point letter. So I sent that with the itemized invoice back and I got denied again, same response, except this time when they sent the response, they left their little fields empty, like it, it said insert quantity here, insert this here. So they didn't even take the time to pre-fill in their automated response, generic response that they sent me. 
So that time I just wrote back to them, and this is on the Maybelline certificate, or ungating. And I just wrote back to them, I'm like, well, I sent you an itemized copy of the invoice. It does indicate that there's more than 10 of this, 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 and this. You know, let me know what it is with this invoice that I need to. And I, and I did include the sales rep's contact information. It was all on the invoice. They indicated at some point that they may reach out to the company that you ordered from to make sure that you're not falsifying documents, whatever. So that was all on there. Then the next day, this is about four days after I started the process. The next day I, uh, and this was yesterday, I got word that I was approved for selling Maybelline products, which is awesome. But I'm still denied for selling topicals. So I can't list any of my Maybelline products. Um, and one of the responses that I got from them for the topical application said, please submit this invoice, exactly the same as what I'd have to do for the Maybelline uh, thing, and submit the pictures. And then it said, or if you are a manufacturer, submit this certification, this certification, this, this, or this. So I assumed that I could get away without finding that stuff because I'm not the manufacturer and I was submitting the other documents. Well, they just keep coming back and declining it. So I've tried it with a couple different products because I thought, well, maybe the pictures weren't clear, that it was hard to read the ingredients on one. One of the products was a round cylinder and they only allow you to put in four photos so, and you have to show all, all sides of the item, the ingredients, the contact information, the logo, everything. So I tried it with a couple different products using different pictures and I keep getting the same response. But in the response it indicates that um, it just gives me the checklist of everything including the FDA stuff. So I guess I have to find that maybe to get certified. They won't specifically tell me what my application is missing or what part of my application they're not liking because their response also keeps indicating that I need an itemized invoice and I need the floor and I need the pictures of the product. So I don't know which aspect of it is why they keep de denying me. I'm going to try to find some sort of sort of certificate that meets their standards for at least one of the products in the palette so that I can or in the case so I can try that. It's kind of like a a mission impossible for me now. I am going to find a way to get ungated on Amazon in something. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity doing a whole case of cosmetics, but it's not so easy. So yeah, there's my answer in the long version. Yes, I can now sell Maybelline on Amazon, but no, I cannot sell cosmetics because I am still gated for, not gated for topicals, and I am rambling, and I'm about to head into construction. So I am going to end this now, and I will update if I ever do actually pass the ungating process. Quick addition, just because I find it funny, uh, Amazon has sent me like three or four messages this week with uh, lines like, you've been selling with us for a long time now and we'd like to help you grow your business. So here's some things you can do. And of course, they're just wanting me to sign up for using their new, similar to eBay's promoted listings or a pay-per-click advertising, a couple different advertising options they have out there. But it really, really irks me because I'm like, yes, I've been selling with you for a while. Help me grow my business. Let me list stuff. <sighs> anyway. That's all, folks.